All right, folks, today we're going to be building a birdhouse in SketchUp. Uh, you're going to notice a couple things on my screen that you won't have on yours when you get started. Uh, this is what we're going to be building is this birdhouse here. Uh, I've labeled all the pieces on the birdhouse, and uh, you can see the pieces in the background as well. So we'll have two A pieces. Uh, B and C are going to be our roof. We'll have two D pieces and E. And actually, we're going to start off with E. E is at the bottom, and that'll be our base, and we'll build up from there. Uh, looking over here as well, you're going to notice the measurements, the dimensions for each of the pieces. So we'll be referring this, we'll be referring to this throughout the build. So we're going to start off with piece E, and piece E is four inches by four inches. And we'll start right over here at the origin point. Uh, first of all, before I get started, you guys are probably noticing that I'm moving pretty easily across this map. Uh, we are, can press our wheel down on our mouse, and that helps us rotate. And if we press the wheel down and shift, it helps us pan. All right, I'm going to start off with L for line and click one time. I'm going to make a green line. I have not clicked a second time, and I'm going to type in four inches and enter. You'll notice at the bottom right part of the screen that it says four inches now. I have not clicked a second time, and I'm going to make a red line. Once I make my red line, I'm going to type in again four inches and enter. Then I'm going to make a green line, four inches, enter. And it should just snap right to four inches to finish off the square. And we have piece E made. Now, piece E has no depth to it right now. So I'm going to press P to bring up the push-pull tool. And we want this to be one inch thick, because the piece of wood that we're going to be using in the workshop is going to be one inch thick, so we'll make it on the model that way as well. Okay, so we have piece E created. Now, something that is, you'll notice that is different with piece E on the dimensions versus the birdhouse is that piece E has these little cutouts. That's for water and other materials to flow through um, once the birdhouse is built so that uh, nothing drowns inside the birdhouse. So we're going to go back to this piece and we're going to do a couple measurements. So what we'll do is press L for line. And this is just going to be a one inch triangle. So I'm going to measure over to this side and type in one inch. And then I'm going to find that one inch line. Okay, I can go to this side and do one inch, which it automatically popped to one inch. That was nice and I connect that. So now I'll just use my push-pull tool to push-pull it down and it deletes. So I'm going to repeat that three more times. I'm going to click to one inch, click to one inch. It kind of pops to that already. It's such a small piece that I don't actually have to uh, type in the number. So I'm going to just go around and find my one inch, my one inch, Connect the line across, push P for push pull, pull that down, and I'm going to do it one more time here. And oops, forgot to connect. Press push pull. And piece E now looks like our uh, piece over here. Uh, and so we've got those holes where the water can flow through. All right, next we're going to go on to piece D. Piece D is going to be the front and the back. And although they're squares here, you're going to notice that we turn them into triangle tops. And I'll show you guys how to do that uh, once we get started. So uh, piece D is going to be six inches wide and eight and three quarters of an inch tall. So I'll go back to our model, and I'm going to press L for line. Now, it is piece D is 6 inches wide. I'm going to go 3 inches each way. So I'm going to click here and type in 
I'm going to make a red line and type in three inch and enter. I'm going to go back to that midpoint again and type in three inch enter. And now I've got a six inch line. Now I'm going to make a blue line. My blue line is going to be eight and three quarters of an inch. I'm going to type in 8.75 to get that and enter. All right, now I'm going to come up and make a red line that is six inches. And I'll connect it down here. And there we go. We've got piece D. Now for piece D, uh, to make our triangle, we're going to measure down three inches. And uh, we'll connect the, the block over here. So uh, I'm going to measure down three inches from the midpoint for this. Three inches and enter. And then I'll just make my red line that goes across. And now I'm going to connect that three inch down with this actual three inch in the middle here. And this should give us, oops, misclick there. Uh, I just press Control Z to uh, erase the last thing I did. I'm going to click and click here. All right, now I'm going to use my eraser and just go through and erase some of these lines so that we can get our triangle. You've noticed I haven't touched this piece yet. I don't want to touch this piece because it's part of piece E, and that's just going to delete some parts of PC. E. So uh, I'm now going to use the push-pull tool and push-pull this out. I'm going to type in one inch and enter. Now I'll go back and I'm going to fill in this part here. So I'm going to press L for line, connect this, and E, erase. There we go. So here is the front of our birdhouse. All right, I'm going to flip around. I'm going to make the other, the back side of it, the other D piece. This should go a little quicker since we know how to do it. I'm pressed L for lo uh, line. I'm going to measure out three inches, enter. I'm just going to measure back the other way, six inches, and that should get us to where we need to be. I'm going to make a blue line that is 8.75 inches tall. A red line that is six inches and connect everything. All right, once again, I'm going to find that midpoint. I'm going to go down three inches, cross uh, a red line here. I'm going to connect my triangle. And then I'm going to erase some of these lines. OK. Do my push pull tool and one inches. Oop, I just push pulled the wrong way. Let me just control Z that and push pull this way. One inch, enter. And I'll use my L for line to connect this and E for erase. And look at that, we've got our two D pieces. All right, let's go back over and next we're gonna do our E piece, or sorry, our A pieces. We're gonna make our A pieces next. A pieces are four inches by five and a half. So four inches by five and a half. For that, I'm gonna press L for line and this should already be four inches, which it is, excellent. So that means all we need to do is measure up to 5.5 inches for five and a half, 5.5 inches. I'm gonna find where that endpoint is and you'll notice on the bottom right, it shows that it is 5.5. And I'm just gonna make a line across here. It's gonna be a green line that I used to connect that. I'll go to the bottom now and connect this piece here. And we've got piece A. That was a, that was an easy one. You'll see that uh, on on here that piece A doesn't quite go all the way up to the roof line. That's because we want to have a little air vent so that air can flow through into our birdhouse. 
Okay, when we look at our birdhouse, though, uh, we'll notice that A is not a uh, one inch piece. So I'm going to press P for push pull and one inch enter. Oops, it looks like it went the wrong way. Let's try that again. Push pull this way, one inch enter. Okay, we're getting some weird things happening where it didn't connect everything. So I'm just going to press line and just reconnect some of the stuff so that it's some kind of weird stuff's going to happen here with, uh, if this happens to you, uh, you have to sometimes go back and like redraw these lines and it'll connect the shapes. You'll also notice that it, it brought our triangles back that we didn't want to be there. So I'm just going to erase the triangles. I'm just clicking right-clicking the triangle and pressing Erase. You could probably do the same thing with the eraser, but I feel like when I'm picking a shape, sometimes it's easier just to right-click and choose what I want to erase. All right, so let's go ahead and build our other eight A piece. I'm gonna press L for line, and I'm gonna click up, type in 5.5 inch, enter. I'll find where that 5.5 is, and we're making a green line. Green line at the bottom. Other way we could do this without using the push pull is I could make a red line here and type in one inch, oops, one inch enter. Then I could just make a blue line coming down. And uh, I could do the same on the other side. I could just actually probably make a green line across here and connect. There we go. So I could just connect all these and not use the push pull tool to make it a little easier on myself. I am going to go ahead and red cl right click the triangles down here to get rid of those. They auto filled in. All right. So. We have E, the two D pieces, and the two A pieces. Now we need to add on our roof. So for our roof, we have two pieces that are going to be uh, different shapes, uh, or sorry, different sizes. Uh, we've got, they're both going to be eight, uh, eight inches wide. And this should be six inches across here. Yeah, so we're going to have a one inch overhang on each side. And then uh, they're going to overlap each other as well. So the C piece is going to be a little longer than the B piece. Doesn't really matter which side we put the B or C piece on. I'm going to start with the C piece, though. And so here we go. Uh, I'm going to make a purple line this time. A purple line is going to extend the line that I was previously making. And I'm going to make this one inch. So I'm going to type in one inch, enter. All right, so it's extended at one inch. That's because the piece of wood we're using is one inch thick. And uh, when we bring the B piece down, it'll fit really nicely there. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to make a pink line, one inch, enter, and connect. All right, so that's going to be our roof started there. Now uh, C is going to be eight and a, or sorry, six and a quarter inch long. So I'm going to measure back the other way now, also making a pink line, and type in six point two five. Enter. Uh oh, yeah. try that again. Having some mouse problems. Six. 0.25 inch and enter. All right, and we get that little one inch overhang on the side too. So that's great. Now you'll notice that when I when I bring it over, it's kind of snapping together. So I'm gonna, it's got a little dotted line here. I'm just gonna click and click and it all kind of auto fills in for me. Okay, so one problem with this ha this is we're not having an overhang. This is only six inches, so I can just, uh, easiest way to probably do this, I'm just going to do, use the push-pull tool 
and push pull this up one inch press line and now i'll just connect this here i'm not erasing or or push pulling that other part up because it is part of part of piece d and i don't want it to um, get that stuff confused so i'm now just going to delete some of these lines delete delete or erase and erase some of these lines all right now to get my one inch overhang i'll press push pull and push pull this to one inch all right now I'll do the same over here uh, i will erase a couple of these lines and press push pull to one inch enter all right so we've got the c piece completed and now we'll make our b please so you'll notice you got some lines on the bottom too if you just uh, erase those lines afterwards it'll be looking good okay so now we've got piece b to make piece b is going to be the same width eight inches and it'll just be five and a quarter down so uh i'm gonna start right here uh following this making a pink line off of this line right there and i'm gonna type in 5.25 and enter. All right, now I'm gonna make a green line that's six inches and come back to here. Okay, I'm kind of surprised it didn't fill in. Oh, it didn't fill in because at the top, it's not a full square yet. There we go. All right, I'll press the push pull tool and push pull up one inch, enter. I can kind of fill out some of my lines that I've got. I'm making a pink line so that it's extending this line here, clicking and clicking. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and connect some of these lines so that I'm getting a full shape and use my eraser to get rid of some of these old lines. All right. So now I'll press P for push pull and push pull this out to one inch, enter. Okay, I thought that might've happened. I think when I made my original side, I think it was an eighth of an inch too big. So I'm gonna push this back uh all right now we'll go over here one inch and i'll just use my eraser to erase that part erase some of this stuff here all right looking good i am going to keep this line across here because this is the overlap between our c and b piece so when we make this in the workshop we will have uh this line here because it's going to be two different pieces of wood Okay, final thing we need to do, we need a hole for the birds to get in to the house. So we're gonna measure down. Um, we're gonna measure down that three inches that we did before when we made our triangle. Uh, so I'm gonna measure down three inches, enter. Now uh, we'll make our hole right at this point. So I'm gonna type in uh, C for circle and click one time and we want our circle let's go with one inch again so we'll just keep it simple at one inch i'm just moving this till the radius is one inch all right that looks great so i'll press e for erase and erase these two lines and then i'm going to press p for push pull all right and we got our you can see into our house now it's pretty cool. Looks like there's some things that have not. Uh, I think when we did that, we maybe messed up something back here. But for the sake of this, 
Let's see here. So sometimes you got these like stray lines and you just got to go back and connect the lines. Uh, I'll just erase this one. Ooh. So it's kind of scary. Sometimes you start erasing lines and things start disappearing, but then they should come back. Okay. I think it's this line here. There we go. Okay, so there was like a line that was missing up at the top. It was where our air could come through. I'll erase this. And there we go. Now we can see into there. All right, so I hope you guys found this to be helpful. And next step is we'll go into the workshop and build this. Be safe and good luck.